again, you showing us everybody. Um, Alafia to everybody tuning in. So uh, we got a very special guest. You know, where I'm at is nighttime, but where he's at is the morning time. Um, this yeah. is a very good brother, uh, Akanji. Uh, brother, what, 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 um, what part of Nigeria are you in, brother? Lagos. Oh, Lagos. Yes, but um, I share the same border with um, Ota, Ogun State. Oh, with Ogun State. Okay. Yeah, we share border. So, so it's... Yeah, it's a lot of good Ifa that come out of that area, too, that's known. Like, in the community, you know, when people get to talking about lineages and stuff, those are places that have strong uh, lineage in Ifa that are known, you know what I'm saying, kind of all over the world. Yeah. Uh, so, are are you originally from um, Ogun State? Yeah, I'm from Ogun State. Okay. My father from Ogun State and my mother from Ogun State. All right, Danny. So I just want to get into a little bit about your journey uh, into Ifa. So and then we go from there and start digging in. Um, it's a good question, brother. You know, um, being a priest wasn't my decision. Okay. I think it's my calling, you know. I was a... Uh, Journalist, mass communication student. I went to some schools in Nigeria, Lagos, Ibadan. And um, I went to school in um, Benin Republic about being a journalist. But you know, when a destiny calls, you need to leave some lines to go into the right way. Although my, my dad, my mom's dad, that's my grand, grand, grandfather, was a um, priest of Olisha, you know, and my mom is an Olisha too. So my mom did not want to do it, you know, but the calling called her, you know. And so one day I was in school, you know, just late, my mom called me. My mom said, hello, how are you? I'm good. I was school today. Well, I feel I feel low. I really don't want to go to school. I'm tired, you know. My mom said, okay, well, I'm in the place right now for a consultation. And I was told that no matter how educated, no matter how big I want to be, I'll end up being a priest. You know, I was like, and my dad, my dad really don't, you know, is a religion barrier. My dad don't really like the religion. So, you know, I can't deny my calling. Immediately, I picked the call from there. I had to let the school go then. I traveled to Oyo State. The Ifa school in Oyo State. Oyo Heritage, um, Ifa Heritage Institute. Of Nigeria, or your that is um, founded by uh, Awisha Bayi, by one Dia Yungola. The school is a good school, you know. We don't really need to do something right. like that. But so, so your mother, so your mother was in a uh, Ifa consultation when she called, and uh, she just she was letting what you. Know. Yeah, like okay, no matter how educated you are. This yes. over here is calling you. It's calling me. Vanny. So, you know, I have to sit by myself and be like, if I did not pick the call now while I'm young, how can I go through the stress when I grow? Mm. You understand? Know because right. it is only when I'm young, I can strive hard to learn to do some difficult things. So I, I I was scared of getting old before going to the joint because I, I won't be able to do anything, you know? Right. And it'll be stressful. So I accepted my my fate, you know. Then I move on to the calling. But I give thanks for the man that has been working well for me. Oh, shit. And 
my mom is an Olorisha. Right. I don't know which of them. She is a Baluai Christian. Okay. You understand? Although with a big temple, we had all we had some holy chats. The, the important ones. And my mom is a good one. We get her solo demand because she 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 works for it, and she let us know the right thing we're supposed to know. Right. My mom taught us. She taught us in the in the lines of truth. You know, you do the truth the truth all the time. Speak the truth. Do the right thing. You know, it might be it might be slow. But it's the gather process. Before you can walk, you need to crawl. Right. So you know, your so mother, your your mother is a very powerful woman. She's a very powerful elder, um, in the community. Um. So uh, when let, you, let me let, do. Let me just say in the community. Let me say in in some part of the world. It's been, right. So you know, which when you finally when you finally came in, um. So. When you came into being a priest, did you just come into becoming Babalawu or did you come into being um Olorisha? I came in to be Olorisha. Okay. I, during then I was I was very pleased to be Olorisha. But my mom called me. My mom said you are a man, you know. You don't need to run from difficult things. You need to stress your brain. Mm. You are born into Orisha. You won't have any stress in knowing all this. Right. But you need to know something more. You need to learn something strange. What you don't know before. Right. Although I, I planned to learn Ifa some years ago, but I found it stressful. You know? That's, you know what? A lot of people, when they come into Ifa, um, it can be intimidating. It can intimidate you because it's so big. Ifa is so big. There's so much to learn. And people, you know, they're like, they got to memorize prayers. They got to remember things about certain Orisha. And it can be overwhelming for the brain. But like, you know, like even my Baba, he will say, you know, Ifa is like an elephant. You got to eat it one piece at a time. You know what I'm saying? You can't just try to yeah. eat all of Ifa at mm -hmm. once. You see, well, about that, why I, I try to step away from being a Babalawo because a lot of people, a lot of people and I, I tried to know while I was young and while I was in school. Right. They, they, most of them don't do the truth, you know. So it doesn't encourage you. It doesn't encourage me. The only thing I care about is doing all this because it's, my, it's, what, it's what my mom taught me, you know. But my mom said, no, you have to go there. You have to make correction. They are doing the wrong thing, but you have to do the right thing. Do it your own way. Simplicity. Be different. Right. You know, let them say oh, what's wrong with him. They call it pride, but it's self-esteem. You know, do it your own way. Man, it might be difficult, but make sure you do it. You know, right. While I was in school, I met a lot of friends. Even while I was in Nigeria, I met a lot of people, young Babalao, even elders that engage themselves in true false, you know, because of money. But we don't need to discourage anybody. The only thing we need to tell them right now is to change. Right. And then to do things the right way, you know. So let me ask you, because uh, the a lot of people listening in, they're not in uh, Nigeria or West Africa as a whole to know kind of the climate of, of what's going on as far as, you know, how people feel about Ifa, the general public, you know. So how is the climate of the general public towards people that practice Ifa? Like, what is the attitude towards people that practice Ifa from the other people in uh, in Nigeria? You see, um, our religion is very peaceful. It's actually Ifa or Isha. It's peaceful. Other religions that came in, you know, to override us, we, I used to say something because I, was, uh, I went to church before. Mm. Now I know the difference. I tasted it. So I used to say, I left the church, right. not God. So you went to church so before? People around here, um, most people engage themselves into lies because, number one, they don't know it. Number two, they got to eat. 
Number three, they are lazy. Right. You know? When you think you, you, you live with a friend of yours that is a balaw, then you pick one or two pieces to see, then you turn yourself to be a balaw. So, yeah. so do people still have like negative thoughts about Ifa, like to think that we're doing something bad? Well, let me say right now, 70% believes in it. Don't let me say five now. Well, the other 30, you know, among two disciples, they always be a Judas. You need to know who you want to be. You need to choose. Right. They, they always be a Judas, you know. So there are some people who still don't believe. They only believe in the religion that was given to them through a mirror. Right. A mirror. You look at yourself. Then you look at yourself and accept the religion. But we're still here doing, doing the shashi, making it far grow, but we don't force people into it. Right. You need, yeah. you need to see salvation in it. Taste it. Right. Yeah, that's the thing, like in Ifa. And this is really most African traditional religion. We don't force people in. We don't like go out and try to recruit people into the tradition. If at the end no. if it goes to call you there's no preaching. There's no preaching. Right. If you yeah. can't do it, believe it, you you will feel it. If you don't do it, your son, your grandchildren, they will do it. Ban me. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, which is saying is true. Yeah, it's true, brother, because like that's how it was in my life, you know. My great grandmother, um, through my mother, she practiced Lukumi, which you know when Ifa came into Puerto Rico and Cuba, it became Lukumi and Santaria. So my mother's generation, nobody practiced. They <laughs> but my generation I'm the one who picked up the tradition. So just like you said, your grandchildren or your great grandchildren can just pick do up it. the tradition. Just leave it. If you can't do it, leave it. Because sometimes when at the temple, someone comes for some consultation, you cast if I if I say you need to go back to your great grandfather religion. Mm. When they ask them, they don't know anything about it. They said there's a Russia in my in my house, but they disposed it. They didn't do this, you no. Know. There's always a solution. Your your grandfather they don't like it. Your father did not like it. But now you want solution to your problem. You have to do it. Right. So yeah, that's because, yeah, that's it. And about about Lukumi. Lukumi is also a Yoruba language. It, it it was just you know. Right. Lukumi, Lukumi means oh Lukumi. That is my friend. Man. Oh Lukumi, my friend. That is my the next person to me. You know. We all generated from this source. Ben, me. We don't need to discriminate one. When you're doing the right thing, the right thing, I mean the right thing. There's no discrimination. You know, 